morning guys here we go again back at it i think it's going to be a slightly different story this morning actually after yesterday's government announcement advising people to work from home where possible i think it's going to be a lot quieter in the office i've got to go in today because there's a few things i need to take care of but if everybody else is working from home then i will try and observe that for the rest of the week um, just generally a really weird aura around town today it is a lot quieter than it was yesterday i think the fear has kind of hit home a little bit more i think particularly doing these videos is quite a weird surreal experience i sort of feel like i'm in 28 days later or something but it's just it's just so weird um i stopped in at boots just to pick up some cough syrup i'm not panic buying or anything i don't endorse that but i think it's fair to say that if you become symptomatic or you're aware that you come into contact with an area that is symptomatic then you need to self-isolate immediately not even go to a shop to pick up supplies um, because you could potentially be exposing other people so i'm preparing that i could have to self-isolate immediately for a period of 14 days so i'm kind of picking up enough stuff for that period just in case that has to happen and then you might have seen a lot more of me <laughs> um i know a law firm in london had to close yesterday or the day before because they had a reported case so if the same thing happens to us we're all going to have to go home immediately so i guess i'm just preparing in case that happens um gonna go into the office again and update you on on what's going on there and i'll check in in a sec so as anticipated, different message from yesterday as a result of Boris's updated announcement about working from home. Now everybody is being actively encouraged to work from home and we're being supported to do that and we're mobilising everybody to do that wherever we possibly can to ensure the maximum safety of the staff and the clients. I think that's all we can do at the moment in this time of such uncertainty and uncharted waters we just have to follow the government guidance which is what we've been doing throughout and I think this is the position across the legal profession really I mentioned my friend yesterday who was told to start working from home from then we've obviously been told to start working from home from today um, I've got a statement here from Clive Reed from D VWV I was hoping to get him on video but obviously under the circumstances um, a written statement is uh, is totally acceptable so he's saying they're doing all they can at VWV to ensure the health and safety of staff and clients, aligning their approach with that of the government, mobilising staff to work from home with immediate effect, cancelling all events until early May and possibly beyond, restricting business travel to that absolutely necessary and adhering to advice for those who may feel ill or are otherwise at risk. Tested their IT systems to help ensure Agile working from home so as to ensure business continuity and they've set up a dedicated resource centre to help clients deal with FAQs etc. So really all hands on deck across the legal profession to make sure that everybody is kept absolutely safe but also our businesses are as operational as possible under the circumstances. Uh, in terms of the court system, again, at the moment, still things seem to be going ahead. Business as usual. I've been following the tweets to see what's going on. Uh, Dominique Smith tweeted to say that she was trying to get a trial vacated because one of her witnesses had suspected symptoms. Um, the help desk said no, but luckily a judge saw her tweet and did allow her to vacate that trial. So obviously adjustments are being made but obviously the system is kind of overwhelmed at the moment probably with inquiries and people trying to get things changed and moved so it, it may take a little while to get things vacated and get things moved around i mean it normally does with the court on a normal day so heaven help us trying to get anything sorted at the moment um also john hyde tweeted as well that the sdt that's the solicitors disciplinary tribunal is going to shut after this week yes means nobody's going to get struck off <laughs> well not for a while anyway um so they're obviously um they're obviously bearing in mind the consequences and the safety issues surrounding this i suspect that only vitally necessary hearings and trials will go ahead i also understand that from barrister blog that trials which are more than three days are going to be postponed and i suspect all trials involving juries this is will probably be postponed realistically unless they're absolutely essential public interest pieces or public interest cases and I think that's probably the case with a lot of hearings as well. 
I think with our hearings, we might try and get them shifted to an audio conference or a video conference wherever possible, because we don't really want to halt case progression unless it's absolutely necessary. But if they can't be moved to kind of a virtual or audio hearings, um, then I suspect they might be postponed because it's just non-essential really, isn't it, in the whole scheme of life and we've got to ensure the protection of the people above all else. So things are really moving into lockdown now. Um, in terms of my situation, I mean, obviously I'm now gonna, gonna work from home, I think. I mean, I am gonna go into the office, I think occasionally just to get files, get things done. But where I am doing that, I'm gonna isolate. Um, I watched a video which one of my friends, who's an ex-Marine commando posted, which I'll link at the end actually, which basically just explains how helpful it can be to ensure separation, how much this can actually help control the spread of the virus. So I think wherever I do have to be in contact with people, I'm gonna make sure I keep a safe distance wherever possible, but that, you know, that is difficult in an office environment because inevitably you might be able to sit a few meters away from somebody, but then you go into the toilet and there's people in there or you go into the cafe. So, I mean, the safest thing you can do is, is isolate as much as possible, I think, and try not to put yourself in situations where there are other people around to just try and limit the spread. Uh, hopefully this is only going to be a short term thing um, because the economy won't survive, I don't think, for very long if we can't kind of resume business as usual, but hopefully a bit of short term lockdown will mean that we become operational or more functional in the long term. So that's it for the moment. Um, if I do go out and about, then I will be vlogging it. Um, I'll continue to vlog updates this week and probably ongoing after that. So stay tuned people and stay safe. I'll link some more guidance below. I'm sure you're sick to the back teeth of hearing it, but you know, if I can help save a few people, then I'll feel a lot happier about the situation. So until tomorrow guys, see ya.